Hello, in this video we are going to look at the difference between the concepts of absolute poverty and relative poverty. Let's get started for the same. Regarding absolute poverty, this is the situation where a person fails to earn more than what is required to survive. So here he would be getting only some income which is just enough to satisfy the basic needs like food, clothing and shelter. He will not be getting anything more than what is required to satisfy the basic necessities in life. And what does it mean by relative poverty here? It is a situation where people will be earning more than their basic income but this would be less than the national average and for the very same reason what we do here in the relative poverty concept is comparison. We compare two nations or two people or we compare the case of a person with the average income etc. Now in the case of absolute poverty we consider only the basic requirements of people and it also fails to consider the other needs of people. The persons uh, will be having different needs like the entertainment needs, recreational needs, some social cultural needs, etc. We do not consider all these needs whenever we measure the absolute poverty. But when it comes to relative poverty, these people would be considered as better than the people who are already in absolute poverty. But here, the people who are in relative poverty can still cannot enjoy standard of life that others enjoy. So this is a problem that you can have in relative poverty. As per the kind of standard given by the United Nations, if you are earning something like $1.9 a day, this is the standard of something which is considered as a measurement tool to make a person understand whether he is below poverty or above poverty. If this person is earning something above this particular amount, then that person would be APL. If he is earning something below this amount, then he, he is called BPL. And this is with respect to absolute poverty. And what about the relative poverty case? Here, poverty is considered in a comparative sense. So you, you will be having two people and you consider the income of these two people, both of their income, person one's income and a person's second income. Income of person one and two are taken and compared in the case of relative poverty. Again, in the case of absolute poverty, this is something that you can determine by using a very important tool called the poverty line and this is an imaginary line it's a very it is something which is hypothetical and if you are earning above this uh, specified limit then you are considered as APL and if you are earning below this uh, specified amount you are considered as BPL so based on poverty line classification you can have two class cla two, two types of people the ones belong to BPL category and ones belong to APL category. And in the case of relative poverty, you can use various tools like uh, Lorentz curve, Gini coefficient, etc. And here you can compare the different people, different nations, different sections, etc. Again, in the case of absolute poverty, this will be ignoring the living standards. Also, it will be ignoring the socio-economic disparity because we are just looking at the basic needs whether we a person is having some income which is sufficient enough to satisfy his or her basic needs but what about relative poverty relative poverty will definitely take into consideration the standard of living economic growth things like that and just it goes for comparison of this comparison of people based on these criteria again Absolute poverty is something that you can eliminate. How you can increase the income of the person by providing him some employment opportunities. And that means by increasing uh, his income or by having more income, this person will be getting some income level that would be 
much more than what is required to satisfy his basic needs so this situation can be solved this problem can be solved and the uh, the situation of absolute poverty could be eliminated but what about relative poverty you cannot eliminate this problem of relative poverty completely again in the case of absolute poverty poverty lines remain the same for years and uh, if there is no uh, recommendation made by certain committees to change the poverty line this will be remaining for many years but in the case of relative poverty this will be changing according to the circumstances of a nation again in the case of absolute poverty people will be experiencing the worst living standard why because the income that they have is just sufficient enough to satisfy their basic needs but when it comes to relative poverty people would be having better living standard they would compare their living standard with the living standard of their neighbor and they will try to attain more standard of living and they can still not enjoy the same living standard as others in the country because the more we get rich the more we try to compare ourselves with the richer class much more richer class that's all about the difference between absolute poverty and relative poverty hope you could understand the differences better i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and also you can join our free telegram community i'll be providing the link of that in the description box also you can download the learn economia app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box you can join these from there that's it thanks for watching